So I had a few objectives when I landed in Germany my first time. It's been a few years, I've been reacting to a whole bunch of videos about Germany, and there were a few things you guys told me to try when I got there. One of them being the beer, another one being the food, but more specifically where to try some of the food, like the German Bacharais. And I thought that I had tried a German bakery when I landed in Germany. Oh my God. It's like, it's like ranch on it or something. It's probably mayo. Or... Yeah, very good. I, this is like the bread for sure is like um, super soft. I thought the supermarket German bakery counted. I went there, I had my fair share of sandwiches, brötchen, different assortments of bread, but it was from a supermarket. And I thought that I had tried what you guys recommended and y'all cooked me in the comment section. You, you guys were saying things like, bro, that's not a real bakery. I mean, the food is good, but that's not a real bakery. Oh, the food's too dry. No, 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 no. That's not where you get your food from. Like proper German bakery food from. You need to go to a mom and pop shop. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to go back to Germany and try an actual German bakery. And that's what I wound up doing. So we made our way to the Kuhnhaupt Bahnhof and set our destination for München Gladbach. This is Jan, a professional chef and our tour guide through his hometown of München Gladbach. And as a professional chef, we relied on his expertise to take us to the best German bakery in the local area. And let me tell you, he did not disappoint. First of all, before we get into the food, I would just like to say the city was pretty quiet. We did go on a Saturday morning, so that made a big difference, obviously. The streets are really clean, a lot of older architecture in München Gladbach. There weren't very many people, so I can't really comment on whether the people were nice or not, but from what I saw, they were very night it was really cool it was like a, a nice little cute city we finally make our way to the bakery and I was mind blown I'm like wow this is gonna be my first experience I was so happy ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we're actually here at the bakery I told you guys I need to actually eat an authentic bakery you guys were saying that you know grocery store bakeries are okay but I should try to eat at a traditional bakery myself so we actually got a filming license to film inside of this beautiful bakery called the Konditorei Heinemann, which seems to be kind of a chain, which is another interesting issue you guys have brought to my attention. But hey, at least it's a German bakery, all right? It looks good. Um, this is what we're having for Frühstück, a breakfast. It's early in the morning, so what better way to start off your morning than Frühstück? Well, we're, uh, we just ordered some breakfast here. So I got breakfast for two, because as you can see, I'm kind of a bigger guy. I need to eat, and I'm starving right now. <laughs> I had something to eat, but you know how like you guys go out and you drink and you pre-game? I'm not sure what you guys call that in off Deutsch, pre-gaming. Vorglühen. Yo, I, I made a whole video on that. Oh my <laughs> god. Listen, pretend like we're gonna edit that out. So Vorglühen, when you guys <laughs> you guys have Vorglühen, right? I have Vorglühen for uh, Essen. I have to, you know, eat a meal before I eat my main meal. So Bosch buys it. Oh shit. <laughs> First yeah, yeah. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Been hungry. You guys know I'm a bigger guy, so I had a breakfast for two to myself. So I actually ordered a lot of food, a lot of food, but for me it's not that much. Like I'm, I can eat a lot, and uh, you guys know it's liebe Lachs and you know Fleisch and stuff like that, like uh, raw Fleisch, I guess. Is it raw Fleisch or the, um, just red meat? Red meat. And uh, we have Käse, Gemüse, like it was a Früchte, and um, you know, Aya, Blu-Rai, you know, with uh, you know, uh, Schinken in it and stuff like that. So it's really good, really good. I'm super excited, super excited. You guys have been telling me to try this out, so we're gonna do that in a little bit. <laughs> so this is actually what I was spreading my butter with at first. I'm gonna expose myself, but Fabi told me that I'm supposed to do it with this knife. And he's right, he's right. <laughs> God, guys, I'm so hungry. It's so good. This is so good, bro. And this is like Rurai, right? Rurai? Oh. Einfach. Uff. Uh, Sehr viel Ö-Ü. Rurai? Was ist das? Was bedeutet das? Auf, auf, auf Englisch, was ist das? Kennst du das Wort hier? Es ist uh, ein, 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 uh, auf Englisch Egg. Yes. A duck egg? Rühr ist so. Oh, 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 scrambled eggs? Yes. Rurai is a scrambled eggs? <laughs> yeah. What? Mm. So good, dude. 
Dann bin ich wahrscheinlich falsch Ich wollte eigentlich in die Marketing- äh, bzw. Presseabteilung. Ja, alles gut. Mm. Danke. Phenomenal. This is really good smoked salmon. Fresh. This hell. At least it tastes fresh. And this is, I don't know what this is, but. Oh, very good. Very good. Like some kind of red meat or like a beef or something. So I was definitely about to mess this up because I was going to just eat the whole thing. But is, you're not supposed to eat the top part. You can't? Really? Like strong taste, but you can't, of course. Okay, so to be fair, I didn't exactly know how to eat that type of cheese. Yes, call me crazy, but I can say that the outer shell or whatever that thing was on the cheese was bitter, bro. Oh my god. I told you it's a strong taste. It is a very strong taste. <laughs> Hold on, let me. I'm sorry. All right, now it's way better. A little better. Oh man. Strawberry jam and. Oh. Oh. Keza with strawberry jam, dude. Oh, you know what? They got this too. You already Mama ate your salmon? Yeah. Bro, you're supposed to eat this with the salmon. <laughs> I don't know how to eat, bro. I'm just so hungry. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. And I was so boneheaded that I decided to eat the second piece of cheese the exact same way I ate the first piece of cheese. Don't ask me why. I was just hungry. I've never seen that before. But is it good, though? It is good. Mamalada with cheese, dude. Mm. That's a marmalada and maybe some butter, dude. Bro, butter <laughs> first. No, 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 you didn't. You don't put the butter on. Afterward? There. Yeah. Butter first. Butter then. first? But it tastes the same. No. It, yeah. But if you just put the butter over the jam, all the jam would be pushed away. But you just mix it. <laughs> look, I'll show you. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> So you just take this some butter, dude, and then you take this and you put it on. You kind of like mix it a little bit, dude. It's like an American trick. I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's good. <laughs> dude, get a little. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's it's die heart attack. It's like it's called die heart attack. So it's a uh, diabetes and heart attack at the same time. But um, you put it you put it on your on your bread. Mm, that was good. While I thought I was being creative, the professional German chef, who so happened to be our tour guide, thought otherwise. I may have seen a tear or two trickle from his eye. But it's good. The butter and the uh, marmalade? Fire. I mean, I might have put too much butter on there. But it's good. It's still good. But the bread is really good. This is like, it's kind of tough. There's like some um, really nuts in here or something. Or like, is it called corn or something? It's good. <laughs> Breakfast is amazing. That was a, that's a way to start your day. That is a way to start your day. Very good, bro. Like, uh, the, uh, it's Brötchen. Is it Brötchen? I, yeah, Brötchen. Uh, so the Brötchen was so fucking good. The lox was amazing too, or salmon. So I've had smoked salmon before, but the, the salmon here was like incredibly fresh, incredibly fresh, and I loved it. Now I messed up. There were sauces I was supposed to use for the salmon and the roast beef that I didn't use because I just didn't know. So I mixed the sauces with all the other all the other food, yeah. It tasted good, I liked it, but it was probably weird, you know, that I uh, did that. There was like this yogurt stuff with like nuts in it and stuff like that, that was really good too. It had fruit, nuts, and like yo yogurt and stuff, it was really good. I'm addicted to sparkling water now, or Vasa McDonald's. I guess, or Spritz Vasa, Sprudelwasser. Is it Sprudelwasser? Uh, Sprudelwasser. So Sprudelwasser, uh, I'm addicted to it. So it was really good. I can't wait to try the bakery stuff and whatnot. I ate a lot and I'm like not full, I'm chilling. Little did I know that the bakery side of the German bakery, like the pastries and stuff, was gonna be a taste test I would have right after eating a big breakfast. I thought we were gonna walk around the city of München Gladbach and then come back and eat an assortment of cakes and desserts and whatnot. That's not what happened. Germany's amazing, dude. I love the food. I'm here for the food. Let's go. <laughs>
I've officially become the craziest American in the restaurant to do this. Oh my God. Take a look at how delicious these desserts look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm eating a lot of uh, desserts today, man, and it's gonna be absolutely insane. I get to try each of these and then let you guys know what I think about them. Um, I love, uh, oh, I guess I could, that, okay, pastries, pastries. It's crazy, because in America, we would call all of this desserts pastries and desserts together would all be desserts for slang lingo, I guess, but chef term, this would be pastries, and then dessert would be, uh, what would you consider like a dessert? Dessert is like, um prep things on plate so yeah like in a restaurant hotel whatever or yeah. maybe at home yeah dessert is like you at home you make a big bowl of chocolate mousse or something mm -hmm. or maybe small one chocolate cakes yeah. stuff you do at home yeah in the restaurants different there's different types of it so you have the uh, dessert with like creams and stuff and ice and yeah, that makes a lot. Of, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And you garnish it out with like mints and yeah. berries and fruits. And it's, yeah. it's more of a whole experience and stuff. Yeah. But the pastry, it's just the pastry, so it's like okay, cool, but like the the piece of yeah, the. This is the whole thing. Yeah. And yeah, dessert would be if you have like this thing decomposed in different. Yes, yeah, pick so sections. You have the cake on the side and yeah. the fruits on the side. And, and then the ice cream, probably like yeah. the ice and stuff like right. that. Like yeah, that or makes a lot of sense. Maybe you have one fruit as a topic and then you make from the fruit a nice cream, a cake, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. That's, That's so basically cool. what it is now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're about to dig in guys because uh I'm still hungry. I'm gonna try my first bite, dude. There was such an explosion of flavors. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the expression on my face how good that pastry tasted. Bro. Oh man, I think this is, these are peanuts right here in the beginning. This is what it tastes like. It's uh apricot peanuts, cream right here. Right, or hazelnut too, probably. I mean, yeah, hazelnut's huge out here, so I don't think people out here eat peanuts like that, so it's hazelnut for sure. Hazelnut, cream, and apricot with like some bread on the end. This tastes like heaven, 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 heaven. But you guys are like, okay, like, but really, what does it taste like? It's sweet, and it has a blend of like a soft apricot and like a sugary, but not too sugary, uh, uh, bread, like, like cake base and stuff. This is beautiful, dude. Oh, hold on. This one right here, I don't know what it's called, but it looks good too. And I ate the whole first one, so I'm about to be huge. This looks low-key like, oh, it's not being just cooling, but it's like a vanilla one. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna switch it out. I wanna try that. I really wanna try this one, because it tastes just like, uh, they said it tastes like uh, vanilla ice. Spaghetti or ice. Spaghetti ice. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Spaghetti ice. It's funny, when he says uh, spaghetti ice, I'm thinking like, oh my God. It smells like ice cream. Mmm, it's fluffy. It tastes like whipped cream. Like, it probably is. You know what? I, I made bean and shish kuchen in a video where my, my bean and shish kuchen tastes terrible because, you know, I, I made it at home with a recipe off of Reddit slash YouTube. <laughs> so this tastes like a better version of the cream that I tried to make, which is super good. Now I'm gonna try to pour some of this on, on this because it reminds me of spaghetti ice, but like fluffy, fluffy spaghetti ice, dude. This raspberry oh sauce God. made everything Look taste that. 10 times better. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Yes. This is spaghetti ice, but it's not ice. It's, I forgot the name, but the, it's good. It's really good. So guys, back in the United States, right? We have this uh, really disgusting dessert called fruit cake, right? We, it's terrible. Like it's like bread and it has like fruit stuffed in it, but it's dried, it's bad. This is what a fruit cake should look like, right? An actual fruit cake. Very, very delicious, bro. Ooh. Oh, you can see the chocolate. When I flipped it over, there's chocolate here. In case the cake from getting soggy. <laughs> Mind you, while I'm trying all of this food, the people in the bakery, because the bakery was a bakery slash restaurant. So the people in the bakery that are there kind of stop what they're doing and they're looking at me eating all this food because A, I have cameras pointed at me in a restaurant. B, I'm eating everything in sight. And C, I had about eight slices of different cakes there at the bakery. Okay, well, cakes were 
absolutely phenomenal. In fact, you guys had a really good recommendation coming out to an authentic bakery and an authentic breakfast spot. I mean, this restaurant is insane. I guess this is like my first, like, well, I guess second official German restaurant that I've actually been to. So, uh, a wonderful experience. I'm absolutely mind blown. Oh, my glasses almost flew off, but absolutely mind blown. And I want to come back, obviously. Um, food was 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Um, my favorite out of all of them, ooh, man. I think it's gonna be a hard choice between the vanilla and then the, the this, Morgenkopf. I was gonna say the other thing, but. <laughs> I'll get fucking banned myself, so. <laughs> so we've just tried some ne <laughs> Well, it was good. I'll see you guys soon. So we proceeded to explore even more of Munchen Gladbach and decided to take a detour that I'm pretty sure all of you guys are going to enjoy. Do y'all remember this video right here? Where I somehow found a way to mess up the easiest recipe in Germany schnitzel so we had to fix that i showed my friend slash professional german chef this video and the tears that ran down his eyes when he watched that video because he was stressed out it was crazy so he's like you know what let me fix that for you i'm going to teach you how to make an authentic deutsch schnitzel well ladies and gentlemen we're actually in germany with jan and fabi making schnitzel in Germany with a professional chef and he's gonna teach me how to make schnitzel properly now he saw my video my abomination <laughs> of me trying to make schnitzel that's what good schnitzel sounds like <laughs> and it was terrible I went to Walmart and I bought this messed up pork looking stuff and he cried because it was like yeah, that's not how you make schnitzel now look at this look at look at this this <laughs> is what you need. This is what you need right here, okay? So he's like, run me through the whole process and you'll see me redeem myself and actually make a decent schnitzel because of him. First of all, mm -hmm. we need to clean out this uh, skin. Okay. It, that's called silver skin. Silver yeah. skin. Normally you just start like peeking through it uh -huh. and then uh, lifting it up a little bit like with the... Uh, with a little bit of the... Oh, yeah, with okay. the light like turn Ooh. upwards a yeah. little bit so you can uh, cut off with without taking too much of the meat yeah. that makes basically sense. basically no meat it's the best way to do it but yeah 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 <laughs> save as much as you can yeah <sighs> don't cut yourself oh yeah no. that's freaking sharp okay uh just try to get uh the tip of the blade below it oh, and then oh oh oh, oh, oh yeah oh, right here yeah right and please I know. Oh, touch oh. the other, oh. the other <laughs> side <now. laughs> for the surgeon right now Trying to pick the right part to cut. <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, this is okay. This oh, the I can see. Thing is, it's already dead. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this would be a slow death if it was alive. To get a bigger schnitzel, yeah. we now like cut it now. Oh, all this the is way how you make the like fillets. This. Yeah, all the way like this, but yeah. not all the way through. Okay. And take another cut right here. Uh huh. So now we have like. Oh! A butterfly that, cut. Yo! That's definitely called a butterfly cut. So yes. Now you go in there and hammer it. Uh huh. You go, do you have a, do you have a meat, a meat beater? Beater? <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a meat mallet I'm not or something? I'm not sure where, but we have one. I, get it. I, 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 I um, used one in a horror game recently. You... Okay, so here. Ooh, hold on, all the way through though. And then yeah. all the way through for this one. Yeah. And take that. Um, I yeah. think we can cut through it a bit, bit more. <laughs> um, just, just flip, flip it over. Yeah. And cut a bit more. Okay, just a little bit. Yes. Okay. Now. Bam. Oh, dude, yeah, look at me. Thing. I'm the chef now. You, 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 you. <laughs> ah, I'm a chef. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing with chicken. Yeah. So you cut from the side, probably? Yeah, we, we cut it from here. So all the way to here. Uh -huh. Or from here, all the way to there. In this case, probably from here to there, because you have here the, the thick longer part. side. Yeah. And you like kind of want the big thing in the middle, I guess. Yeah. Not on the outside. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cleaning first, like removing fat skins from the chicken. Yeah. And like all this like, first Stood. part here. Yeah. This is all we got to cut off from it. Okay. Normally, you would have another part big of the white chicken right, right here, yeah. which like kind of falls over there. I don't know if we have one. Yeah, here. Yes. Right here. 
Yep. That's an inner fillet. Inner fillet. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically, inner fillet. Yeah, right. yeah. But this comes off as easy. Ah, uh, yes. And then you need to cut all these out too. But yeah. Okay. We'll fix that later. Yeah, yeah. So you need to remove this. Uh huh. Because we do. We, yes. we don't have to actually, but yeah, I think it's it's like, yeah. nicer then. Yeah, absolutely. And then we cut all the way from here, mm -hmm. down here. Woo! Okay. Nice. Okay, <laughs> that is intense. And then you have it like this. Maybe That's... you can, uh, can make another cut the other direction, but yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This looks perfect, this though. This is uh, great. That's like the example. Get us another... Now we'll grab this piece, and then I'll start off by cutting off the excess fat. And then, uh, maybe up here. Uh, don't be too shy. Woo! Just turn it around. Oh, yeah, oop, sorry. Because you have the uh, inner fillet oh, right the here. Oh, the inner fillet, yeah. You can, like, break cut it off there. Okay. Cool. And then just... Yeah, put it up. Right cool. There. It's perfect. And then cut this off. Oh, it's as sharp as hell. Holy shit. I <laughs> told you. Can you cut your fingers? Yeah. You definitely will. Yo. Cut it like that, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, let's see what I did, let's see what I did. Uh, okay, alright. Oh fuck, that's kind of, wait, wait, wait. Maybe a little bit more in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Huh. <laughs> well. You're doing it great for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it looks, it looks uh, <laughs> a little suspect, but you know, I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit better, but yeah. <laughs> first of all, we need to hammer the shit out of them. Oh, no, dude. not even the shit. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, chicken is a lot softer than like, oh, dude, like I, beef I, or pork. Yeah. So for this, we are going to get like a plastic bag or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you put it in the bag and no, then no, you no, not in the bag. But we put this right here and this on top. When you beat the bag. Yeah, you beat the bag, so this won't get as dirty. Do and do this one, side or? Uh, you use this side. Okay. And you start to work with this. And then uh, from the inside to the outside, so mm -hmm. it's so like all out. the same. Yeah. Like in like straight, even, whatever. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I beat me with a fucking uh, end of a knife last time. Actually, I used a rolling pin, which is arguably even more cringe. So getting this is a way different experience. Feels pretty either. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is like put it in here. Cool. So the egg will stick better to it. Oh, absolutely. For this particular part, I don't think I did too bad because the, my process and his process were relatively similar. Some very slight differences, like for instance, I put seasoning in my flour batter, but that was pretty much it. And I also used plastic containers, so yeah, I guess that was a big deal. <laughs> You're good. Don't make it too thick, so, uh, though, because if it's too thick, it will like. Have you ever seen like uh, flour in uh, water when yeah. it's like dry in the middle but wet on the outside? It's like fried chicken when they fry it fucked up and stuff, and like yeah, you that's it that's what's uh, happening then, okay. and you can. Uh, it's too thick. I show you. Like right here. Yeah. Wait, it's moist, but not all the way. Uh -huh. You need to like dip it in the rice or mm -hmm. more. So that's what. You, that's what you don't want to do with it, oh, bro. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so yeah, basically, make sure it's not too thick, but also not too thin. Yes. And then um, most people press on. It. But if you want like a nice crust, yeah, don't press on it. Okay. Because it will uh, kind of bubble up then mm -hmm. below the meat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And Perfect. if you want a thicker crust, you can just take it now, mm -hmm. like right, like this. Yeah. And put it back here. Oh, again. double dip. Yeah, double dip. <laughs> so you get a thicker crust and yeah. Oh shit! Okay, look at all this I was on today. That's crazy! <laughs> what we're about to do, take the uh, schnitzel, put it in the frying pan, and hopefully I don't die. It's gonna pop, you know, snap, crack, pop, all the right things wherever. I'm gonna try to drop it in safely. 
and then I'm gonna use these chopsticks. I'm kidding. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Are you ready? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be. Put it in like Feed from it in. from away from you, like this first, uh -huh. and then put it in like. Oh. I'm grabbing it. Show you one. once. Oh fuck. <laughs> you put it in like this. And then away from you, so oh. if it splashes, it won't splash at you. It'll splash away from you. Okay, okay. Oh shit, I was on top of it. Oh cool, so this one just flip it then. Yeah, but you can uh, leave it for like a minute or something. Okay. You can see it like getting gold brown on the edges and then you flip it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So and hopefully good. the next shot is you eating your own. Yeah! <laughs> but it looks different than yours, right? Yeah, way better. <laughs> a thousand times better. Dude, I ruined schnitzel and I didn't even know it. I, I was, I'm like, oh dude, look, I made this schnitzel. And like, look at, bro, it, it was terrible. RIP for all the schnitzel lovers out there, man. I got, uh, yeah, ugh. Easy, man. And then, of course, this little part right here to push down. Oh, you don't need to. Oh, you can just like do it like this. Oh, nice. Then, uh, yeah. then we're gonna monitor the edges. That's what's very important about this. So as he was saying, gotta make sure that like uh, you'll know when it's ready when the edges are brown. And I didn't know that before. I'm like, ah, when it's burnt looking, I'll just pull it out and flip it. And, <laughs> and then like I'm pretty sure you saw all the shit I pulled out were like pitch black. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, this is great with ketchup, man. <laughs> I mean, ketchup and shit's always yeah, pretty good. Yeah, also don't put garlic powder. Okay, but a little bit of garlic powder and parsley with schnitzel is actually low key good. You should try it. Y'all should try it. Okay, we're oh, starting to get hot right now. It's really hot. Woo! Ah, damn! You can like. Woo! Don't burn yourself, bro. Oh, Lord! That's great. Oh, this is perfect! This is perfect! Oh my god! <laughs> Bro. Okay. Shit, boy, our break. Back with my ass schnitzel, bro. <laughs> oh, yes! Well, we saw the process. We beat the meat. We fried the meat. Cooked the meat. Uh, same thing. But uh, basically, we're about to. I'm about to try this right now. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's browned very evenly and stuff. Um, cutting this, is this, this is the chicken one, I think. I think this is the chicken one, I can tell by the, by the piece on the end. Well, uh, let's see how it compares to my American schnitzel. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I didn't cook it like this from the start. This is really good. Really, really, really good. Oh my God. And honestly, I learned a lot. I learned that I cooked it the entirely wrong way at home. <laughs> I learned the right way to cook schnitzel today. Thank you so much, man. This is, this is really good. <laughs> well, Mustard and schnitzel, dude. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I know you guys are like, what? Dude. <laughs> Mustard. Mm hmm. I like it a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, guys. Uh, learned a lot today and stuff. Uh, I will never make schnitzel the way that I made it in the United States. I learned how to make authentic German schnitzel in Germany, in München Gladbach today. So I need you guys to do me a favor. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel right now. Abonniert diesen Kanal and like the video bitter. Uh, get me on, on Daumen hoch on this video if you can. Uh, drop a, uh, some comments down below and whatnot as far as what you want to see me cook next or visit next and stuff. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bis später. Ciao.